Do you know the thirst we found in of youth? And those who usually find it are those who love to exercise. You don't have to run in a marathon to discover it. Just walking briskly for 30 minutes three times a week can be equivalent to 10 years of rejuvenation. Studies show that people between the ages of 60 and 70 who exercise regularly become as fit and energetic as young people between the ages of 20 and 30. Exercise strengthens muscles and improves blood vessels. It also increases the pumping efficiency of the heart. It slightly reduces blood pressure and improves oxygen utilization by all the tissues in the body. If the exercise is done in moderation as the years go by, it will help prevent heart attack and other ailments. When you exercise, your muscle tissues use oxygen faster. And to meet those needs, the heart beats faster to supply oxygen-carrying blood to muscle tissues. The blood vessels also need to expand and contract to cope with the increased flow of oxygen-carrying blood to the muscle tissues. In this process, the blood vessels exercise, thus they become sturdy and firm. Without adequate exercise, they will start to degenerate. A healthy exercise can also improve digestion and counteracts nervous tension. It also provides high oxygen to our bodies. Humans absorb about 500 cubic inches of air per minute. By walking for nearly 4 miles per hour, air intake will increase to about 2,500 cubic inches per minute, 5 times more than just sitting. A lack of physical activity leads to abnormal or accelerated blood clotting in the coronary, cerebral, and other arteries as well as in the veins. Because of this, it is now felt that regular ongoing activity throughout the year can be important in preventing and reducing strokes and heart attacks. But it is thought that sports of activity at intervals in an otherwise sedentary life will not accomplish this objective. Such physical exercise can be dangerous over a while. Yes, exercise is necessary at every age of life. However, if you are in your 50s or more, you should be careful when exercising. Do it rightly and moderately. Aging causes a variety of problems. And as we age each year, the heart's ability to pump blood decreases by about 1%. When you reach 60, the blood flows much slower by 30 to 40 percent compared when you were in your 20s. The air you exhale after a deep breath decreases, and your chest wall slowly stiffens, and the flow of nerve messages to the body slows down by 10 to 15 percent when you reach the age of 70. But those can be delayed through exercise because it will lower the resting heart rate and the amount of blood pump with each beat will increase. Light exercise such as walking is much better than putting yourself into a strenuous workout. Go outdoors into the open air, breathe in the fresh air and walk briskly. Take a deep breath as you go. Gradually accelerate each day. Know your limit. It is necessary to warm up first before starting, and afterwards, cool down by never stopping suddenly. And if you get stuck by sickness, start back again slowly. Jogging or running can be great for some, but it can cause bone fractures in the feet and damage to the knee joints in the long run, whereas the main health benefits come with only 2,000 calories burned off through exercise each week, which only equates to about 3 hours of brisk walking per week. Here are some things you should know before starting your exercise program. First. You need to know your target heart rate or THR. Your THR is the most effective training pulse rate for maximum cardiovascular function and to control your excessive fat consumption based on your age and current fitness level. To find out your THR, you need to know your RHR or resting heart rate. The most accurate way to take your RHR is when you are newly awake and have not yet gotten out of bed. Take your pulse and count the number of beats for a minute. Do this for two consecutive mornings, the average was your RHR. And since now you know your resting heart rate, you can now get your THR. Here is how you can do that. 
First, subtract your age from 220 to find out your predicted maximum heart rate. That is the fastest your heart can beat based on your age. After that, subtract your RHR from your predicted maximum heart rate. Now, you may want to know your current level of fitness or target zone. Your target zone is the percentage of your predicted maximum heart rate. If you are a beginner, this percentage will be 60%. If you are doing exercise regularly, it will be 70%. And if you are a competitive athlete, it will be 80%. Multiply the difference of your predicted maximum heart rate and RHR to these percentages according to your current level of fitness. Round off if necessary. Add the answer to your resting heart rate or RHR. The answer will be your target heart rate. This formula is only a guide. You'll want to watch your own body for overexertion, such as pounding in your chest, a dizzy or faint feeling, or profuse sweating. Breathlessness is another sign to be alert to. During your exercise program, monitor your heart rate as soon as you begin sweating lightly and breathing harder. If it is below your target heart rate, push a little harder. If you are above it, you need to slow down. Exercise for 20 to 30 minutes 3 to 5 times a week with a day off between each day. Work up to your target heart rate, but don't pass it. You will notice that your resting heart rate will decrease as time goes on. It only means that the efficiency of your heart increases and you'll feel better and get stronger. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to this channel and enable the notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I posted a video like this. That's all and thank you for watching.